In this video, I'm gonna show you how to upload your PDF documents to Canva and how Canva will let you edit those documents for free. That's right, you don't need a Canva Pro account to be able to use this feature. Now it is still in a learning phase, it isn't perfect. Stay tuned right to the end because I'm gonna show you how some things don't really work but how it is such a very cool tool and so handy to have. Sometimes you've got a PDF document and you just need to make a little quick edit or you wanna make something look a lot better than it does but it's locked down as a PDF, maybe you lost the original. With Canva, you can do it and I'm gonna show you right now. Let's get into it. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Lowell Brown from Going Social where we take the complicated out of digital and social media marketing and make things a little more simple and easy for you. Now Canva is one of my favorite tools. I use it almost every day I'm doing work for my clients, whether it's creating graphics, creating landing page documents, um, like downloadable PDFs, which in this case, we're gonna edit one of them. Um, I use Canva to create graphics for Facebook ads. I've created videos, I've created all kinds of things. So Canva is one of the tools I love. I would love to give you a free 30 day trial to use Canva Pro. And why would you wanna use Pro? Well, I'm gonna get into that later in this video. For now, click that link below. It's an affiliate link. You'll get 30 free days of Canva Pro to try out. Click the link below, it's in the description, and you can get started with Canva Pro. But before we get into that, let's go and show you how to edit those PDF documents in Canva. We're gonna go into a screen, share right now, and you're gonna see hands-on how we do this together. All right, we're here in Canva. When you first get started and you launch the page, you're gonna see all of your um, previous designs. It's gonna give you some things you might wanna try. You're gonna see you know, this status bar along the top, but how do we get our PDF documents into Canva? Well, it's really simple. I'm going to show you a little trick right now. You wanna click up here in the top corner where you see create a design. Just click on that and it'll drop down and at the bottom you should see this button right here where it says import file so that's all you want to do so let's click on that and it's going to open up to let you see some documents now i've got two documents right here i'm actually going to quickly show you those documents first let me go back here i'm going to open them up and I'm gonna show you that it is PDF. So I'm on a Mac, this is the preview app, and you're gonna see that I can highlight things, but I can actually, you know, I can't edit it, right? So that's one document, and here's another one. So that one was more of a text document, and this one is actually a more designed document. Now I actually created this in Canva, and it doesn't matter, it's a PDF, it's saved as a PDF. You can see that there's images and there's text. I, I can't edit anything in here, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump back into Canva here. I'm gonna select that text document first. So when it imports, you're gonna see it adds as a project. It adds it as a new project item. Let me, let me quickly move my face over again. There we go. So it's gonna open up and add as a regular design or a new document in Canva when you're there. So all you have to do once it's imported is simply click on it and it'll open up in Canva and it and it is doing an auto conversion. So I do want to show you that what you see here again I'm just going to move my head over. What you see here is this little dialogue. Now, they're working to improve this. This is kind of a, a newish feature within Canva. So, whenever something like this happens, it's it's I wouldn't say it's in beta, it's there, it's released, but they want to still know what's working, what's not. So, you're going to get this little pop-up that you might see, and I actually already submitted one because when I uploaded this document the first time, I'm going to show you below not everything was perfect. It was pretty damn good, but it wasn't totally perfect. So if you do see this, and if you do have an issue with your document, even if you don't, fill that in. It takes two seconds and it gives them feedback. And the reason why that's helpful is because it allows Canva to know what needs to be improved. And they're always improving things on the platform. So by submitting that, you are helping everybody else out. This is the one thing that doesn't do well, for me, at least in this document. Um, and by the way, you can zoom in on your document by going into this little bottom area here and you can just 
type in how well you want things zoomed in here. Now, what I created in the original document was a table of Facebook stats, and it didn't really import it that well here. So I did give them some feedback about that um, just to show them that it didn't import well. But what I do want to show you is that all of these things in Canva are editable. So I can actually take this graphic. Now this was locked down. This, this document was not created in Canva. I created it, I believe in Google Docs and exported it as a PDF. But now that it's in Canva, if I wanted to, I could reposition that graphic. This is amazing. I could take this title and it's selectable text. I could take that. I could bump the size of the text up. I could change the font if I wanted to. Look at this, this is amazing. If I wanted to add a different font, I could do that. Like that's pretty incredible. I could change, you know, the color. Let's say I, I just wanted to, and again, I'm just messing around here, but just to show you, I could take that and I could add color to it. So you really could get in and customize any sort of PDF. This had a weird underlined thing here because it was a link. I think that's why it got underlined. Um, so I don't know about that, but just the ability, like you can even move things around. So if I wanted to move this down, I didn't like the spacing. Like that's pretty amazing that you can just do this from a PDF that was locked down. And I've had countless times where I've had a PDF document um, that somebody else created and maybe there was, you know, a, a staff of mine, a contractor that um, created something and there was a spelling error in it, I can quickly go in and I could fix that spelling error. If there's something that I want to adjust, like I could move this whole block, I can move it down if I wanted to. Like, look at that. That's pretty amazing. So that's the first example of, um, of how you can edit and change a PDF. Now from here again, I could even add different elements. So let's say I wanted to add in a logo. We're talking about, you know, in this example, I mean, this is Facebook and Instagram ads, but I could add other images. I'm just showing you the different things you could do. If I wanted to add more text, I could add more text to this document. So really what you're doing is you're taking any sort of a PDF and you're adding in the ability with Canva to kind of customize it like you would any other document if you if you wanted to do that again, which is pretty fantastic. You want to add an image of any kind. I could do that. I could add a video even if I wanted to. Um, so it is pretty amazing that you can kind of take a PDF that's been locked down, bring it into Canva and create something new. Let me show you one more um, example with a completely different document. So again, we're going to go back up to create a design. We're going to go up to import. I'm going to select that other file. And again, I mentioned before this document, I actually did create in Canva, but it shouldn't make a difference. It just might make it a little bit easier for me to edit. So again, the reason why I would want to do this is let's say I have a document that's a PDF that someone gave to me and I want to take some of the material out of that, or I want to adjust it. Maybe I lost the original document and I have a PDF version that I had saved and I want to edit something. Well, doing it with Canva makes it so easy. So again, Let's open this up now. This document also has a bunch of different pages. So I could scroll through and again, it's it's telling me how did things how do things look overall looks pretty good, right? This looks pretty much like the original. Some things are actually a little bit off like these little margins on the side here and in the footer. This was originally going right to the edge, but I could I could just as easily fix that, right? So I could, you know, there we go. It's fixed. I could fix that over here if I really wanted to. And then boom, it, it's fixed. So not bad, you know, comparing the original and, and let me show you the original again here. Let me just grab that document. All right. So I'm just going to bring in, this was the PDF version just to show you how it imports it. And it's pretty much identical. I did mention that this little footer area here wasn't so perfect, right? You can see it's edge to edge on here and that could just be a margins thing. But overall, what comes in to from the PDF, it's identical. So it did a really good job there in terms of importing. So I'm just gonna tell them this one did pretty well. 
and uh, great. And then I can submit some feedback there for them. So again, with this document, I could again, edit these different pieces. I could bring this image out. I could swap it for a different image. Let's grab a different image just to show you how easy it is. Now, again, this was, you know, different elements. So anything that was a layer in the original document, you can create if I wanted to, um, you know, let's, let's just say I want to change this color to purple there. I could, I could change it and just make it a little bit different. If I wanted to make this one pink as an example, there we go. No, maybe that, I'll make that blue. There you go. So, you know, you can change these. Let's, let's change to a different picture. So if I wanted to change the image with a different one, let's see how easy it is. So it was easy for me to grab it out. So I'd have to resize it, but I mean, I could just pop it in there. It's not as easy as kind of dragging like it was before, but that's not bad, right? Um, I'd have to send this back. Let's see if I can do that position layer. There we go. We want it. We want it forward a bit. So look, I mean, you can adjust the layers here. That's pretty amazing, right? So I was able to change this picture and still leave this one like this and adjust it by the different layers. It's also pretty cool that I can still make those adjustments on top of different elements. And even though that's a previous layer that was in there too, that's pretty amazing. And it, it will, again, if I wanted to zoom in, I could zoom in just to make sure this fits. Okay. Right. Go right to the edge. There we go. So I've got this guy in here <clears throat> and I wanted to position backwards there, right? And that looks great. So that's just a couple things there. Um, again, you know, you can go in, I could, I could retype stuff. So while YouTube is a powerful platform to grow a fan base. So, you know, you could edit the text right away. I could, I could rewrite this document if I wanted to. I could again, change different pictures. I could change this if I wanted to make it a different link. So really you have the power to customize all the stuff that you need to. And then again, you could share it. You could save it as a PDF. I could download it as a PDF if I wanted to. And now I've got a new version as a PDF, right? I could save it as a JPEG. I could do whatever I need to do. So that's the power of um, using Canva as a PDF editor. <laughs> So I hope this video demo was helpful. We basically covered how you can take a PDF document that you have, import it into Canva, and use Canva to edit that document. You could recreate it. You could copy and paste elements out of a PDF to create a new document. There's so many things you could do, and I don't know how many times I've been in a situation where I have had a PDF and it's been locked down and I, I wished I could edit something on it or there was a spelling error that I wanted to replace or I lost the original document that I couldn't edit and I needed to edit this or recreate it. This is a huge time saver and it is a huge help. So if you have a PDF document and you want to make edits to it, try it in Canva. Again, you don't need Canva Pro. This is a free Canva tool. Um, it does ask you for feedback because not everything is perfect. And I did uh, show how a table of data, uh, columns and rows of numbers and stuff didn't import perfectly, but I could recreate it if I really needed to. There's all kinds of things you can do now that it's in Canva, but it did a pretty good job. And being able to swap out some images, adjust text, move things around, it's so cool. Once again, this is a free tool that you can use right now, but I would recommend you try out Canva Pro. Now, here's an affiliate link below. So check the link in the description or the link that you might see on screen right here, and you can try Canva Pro for 30 days. Now, why, you might be asking, why do I need Canva Pro? Well, Canva Pro, there's a whole bunch of things that I love that you can do with Canva Pro. Now, the number one thing that I use the most with Canva Pro, I have to admit, is the photo background remover. The ability to take an image, and I do this a lot with my YouTube thumbnails, 
I'll grab a screenshot like I do on video and I might pose or do something weird. And then I wanna take the background out. So all the set that you see behind me gets stripped out. It's so simple, it's so easy, and it does a really good job. So that's one thing that I love Canva Pro about. The other thing is you get access to stock art. That means royalty-free photos and videos. Now, you do get a small collection with your free Canva Pro, but the amount of times that I've been creating social media graphics, Facebook ads, things like that for clients, and I've wanted to use other images. Some of the images that you saw in the PDF example I used here with that um, video repurposing document, those were from Canva Pro. Those were premium royalty-free images that I downloaded through Canva to use in my document. Um, another thing is fonts, specialized fonts for your documents. Canva Pro unlocks a whole slew, hundreds, maybe thousands of fonts that you can use for different documents. Um, another thing is music. Now, I've created some video slideshows for clients. Um, I have a couple of real estate clients that I've created using their real estate listings. And I've created um, like a video slideshow or a little movie and I've imported some audio, some music. Those elements you can grab from Canva Pro. So those are just a few examples of things of why I like Canva Pro and why I think it's worth it. Um, again, I invite you to try it, Canva Pro, free for 30 days. And before you even do that, if you're looking to learn Canva and you want to get started and you love my demos and you love learning from me, well, check out all my other Canva playlists. Check out the link above. You'll, you'll see the link right here. Love pointing to the ceiling because I never know where to point, but check out my playlist. I've got a whole bunch of Canva demos that I've done here on YouTube. I would love for you to check them out. Let me know below in the comments if you found this video helpful about editing PDFs with Canva. I would love to hear your feedback. Um, if you have any ideas or suggestions for future videos, please hit me up. And don't forget to like and subscribe below. Smash that bell so you get notified the next time I create a new video here on YouTube. And again, thank you for watching. My name is Lowell Brown from Going Social, where we take the complicated and the frustrating out of digital marketing and social media marketing, make things a little bit more easy and helpful for you to speed up your workflow. I'll see you guys in the next video.